Hello and welcome back to the second episode of this mini Let's Play of Lamplighters League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey into the early 1920s in a mysterious world where uh, we are fighting alongside Mr. Locke against the banished League, which uh, is trying to seize control over a tower that apparently has an infinite energy source on top of it so truly interesting stuff that is happening today <clears throat> we are left with the decision of rescuing either of two operatives um, i think i will go with uh, anna sophia who is i think the support medic and because i wanted to see what a support medic looks like Eight skill points, fifty uh, up to fifty supplies is the name of the game. There, In terms of agents, we have the three standard agents, but we now do have extra skills. Uh, we do have uh, the skill of the weaver, which allows us uh, to um, lose speed on the enemies, so it's kind of a massive web. And we do have an AOE blind ability. Uh, with the revelation so it's going to come in handy as we're going to go deeper into uh, the actual adventure got two bandages got one um, pocket item here the flash bomb which allows to do another blinding so we have plenty of blinding which is my attempt to try to see if we can use crowd control in order to win the fight. So we got our th uh, three standard agents, Eddie the Pistolero, then Ingrid our bruiser for the front line and Latif the stealthy, uh, sneaky, sneaky uh, stealther. So let's jump right into it and see what the Rebel Angel, Angel is mission um, is all about. What I like about the missions is they feel uh, kind of right size from a time perspective half an hour 40 minutes sort of deal permission so that's actually not bad All right. they got a lot Let's go rope this they got a lot right in this uh, game tower. keep an eye out for strum or his people too steady as she goes okay before we're doing anything here let's recon This is apparently where she is being held. This looks like a huge uh, area to fight. And this here looks like the area that we need to move on. A little bit of improvement potential for the recon camera. Uh, that completely makes my stomach ill. Could be much uh, smoother animated. All right. Hotel rooftop. Okay, we're already seeing agents. Observers and sharpshooters. The court sentinels can detect. Just gotta get that spotlight and damn the consequences, huh? This is why all great thieves work alone. And for the record, I'm including me on top of that list. Okay, we've immediately been spotted out, which is fantastic. I was about to check out the pickup here. And potentially pick this one up here, but that is not uh, going to happen now. Instead, what is going to happen is uh, we are going to move over into full cover, get some proper dodge. And we got some blind over here, which is great. We're going to use that immediately. <coughs> Very good. How about moving into full cover? We need to definitely deal with this guy. No question about it. A uh, little bit too many hit points. How about light them up? And how about... Okay, we need to hit four targets with light them up. Can't uh, solo shoot. Um...
this here would be <clears throat> pretty sizable shot but I think we're just going to do our shot one wait 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 an explosive barrel arm we can't let that go by Buffalo Bill, eat your heart out. very good because this <clears throat> barrel we can work with that all right Um, knocking him down. You stay away from me. Which crowd controls him as well. And then, unfortunately, we can't kill him yet. You break easily. But I think we do have. <clears throat> uh, we do have. Um, Blade Storm. So that should be fine. <coughs> Excuse me. My voice is leaving me today. Now we need to move out of here. More enemies. Okay. Wow. Okay. Lots of enemies. Good, we're moving back into full cover. And now is the right time for light them up. One, two, no, three. You know what, why not? Good. Look, Ingrid, normal strike, <coughs> gets killer instinct. Range ability, the hit and run attack that deals 50% of damage, evade on Latif. Gains a free move action afterwards. That's exactly what we want. <coughs> What's this? There we go. Good hit. Where's the free move? Oh yeah. Now I think we do have so many enemies that... Our decoy would be massively supportive. How about replacing him here? And going over here, which is exactly what we want to do. Ingrid. Put blind in an area or could put a nice little web up, which I like as well. So this is outside of the explosion range. And this would put all three of them into a really uncomfortable position. Alternatively, we put the three here into an uncomfortable position, which I appreciate even more. There you go. Slowed, slowed, and slowed. <clears throat> An explosion happens, and we are seeing the enemy focus on the decoy. Mm, not good. Decoy down. You'll get it next time. Ooh, ouch. This is Overwatch, so well, it's not good. One. 
Does this break Overwatch? I don't know. Let's see. Easy when you know what you're doing. Yeah, it breaks Overwatch. Okay, easy. And... Mm, that's unfortunate. Well, we can still break the Overwatch. Okay, we need to reload. Could blind them if needed. Could blind these guys here if needed. Um. <clears throat> That's a bit of a really messed up position here. But I think we're just moving and we will need to uh, kill these, all of these guys. Very nice. There you go. Very good. So, now Ingrid. Moves up, hits this guy. Doesn't kill him yet. We continue to this time kill him. Get killer instinct. And I think a stick and move is the right uh, way to go. Hmm. Maybe. Getting both of these guys down, but the problem is we're standing in the open then. So that's not really helping. Um, can't push kick, but we can blind one of them. And then afterwards move away. You couldn't keep up. Good, he's now blinded. And we got a nice little cover position. We're ex unfortunately exposed. We got one evasion here, so that's not the end of the world. But still, Overwatch, that's the evasion gone. We're going to take damage now. Damn it, the blinded guy has hit us. Ooh. That's not good. Wow, we're taking a lot of damage here. Alright, reloading. It's confirmed. Right on the money. Removing the health uh, there. Helping our friend in mortal danger. We won't leave you behind. I thought that was it for me. Regaining an action. There you go. And... Can't get both of them down. Oh, that's unfortunate. Blinded and marked. That's not enough. We need to crowd control. Um, these here deal more damage, so off we go. Knockdown and we're in smoke, which should be fine. At the same time over here. Let's get some evasion going and move up. Oh, 
Okay, well, <clears throat> this is... That's a overall quite difficult. Um, Ingrid, if, uh, if I could hit three, that would be a very valuable crowd control. Moves up. How do you like to taste the flame? And we need to use a couple of ultimates just to get these guys down. Ingrid cleans up. Killer instinct here. One. To, that's as much killer instinct as will proc. There won't be any more. Hey, Lunkhead, I'm right here. All right. Well, that worked. evasion yet <clears throat> so what we could do is overwatch but that's dangerous because could still be hit um, our running shot which would be the perfect follow-up isn't working I'll think about what uh, what we're going to do lining this guy sticking and then moving. So everybody is blinded and we could go with uh, just evasion. I think that's the right play here. Negate their attacks. Um, we can get evasion by essentially moving over here. These two will shoot at, uh, at him, and one of the attacks will miss. This guy supposedly will shoot at her. There's the evasion. More overwatch, okay. And more overwatch, alright, good. So, zero damage for us. we go nice little hit teaches him manners and very much gets him down that's good now uh, how about this and that <laughs> yep there we go up gets evasion <clears throat> hits this guy after strike uh, strike break human flees and uh, incumbent and cower non-human enemies will go berserk and attack anything in the past any agent uh, can knock out a broken enemy with a finisher ability okay well I can tell you something This should give us, yep, one AP, okay, that was refunded, I like it, and we are just evading. Alright, bring it on. Don't 
somewhere? Trying to use Ingrid's uh, mm, Ingrid's melee attacks a bit more. She does have uh, Blade Storm, or the equivalent thereof. I'm not here to play games. There's no reason to draw a fight out. Land it quick as you can, however you can. Okay, so we got one downer in uh, in oh. this fight, which was a bit of an ouchie. Healing ourselves. It's a good car. Okay, breathe through the nose. There we go. Wow, good. Med kit's gone. One person downed. And we got an iron Take key. It. to waste a souvenir more supplies even more supplies okay so apparently that's the only thing we get here and more bandages which isn't too bad wait Ingrid actually requires bandages so let's drop the flash bomb take here? the bandages ah. heal ourselves and right. we're back in action back could have used a little bit more bandages, but to be fair, I think I did not play the combat uh, very well. We got immediately ambushed by the scout and we really didn't use any of our out of combat abilities to reduce the amount of enemies. We just went in head first and yeah, fought a three versus what, nine? Of course, you're going to lose that. Don't mind if I do. Good. Got a smoke bomb. Got a flash bomb. Both not too bad. Another smoke bomb Shame. for Eddie. Left this line around. Okay, wait, wait, wait. On group. Let's make on group. Up. Lights out. Good. More than willing to use that Let's maneuver play. in order to not trigger combat. Crate holding a purifier's flamethrower, empty of fuel, the straps attached to the soldier's back and heavy, uh, are heavy and secure, impossible to undo without uh, with gloved fingers. Okay. Um, all right. Well. Good, we got some second wind, which I think is when someone is going to be down, you kind of get another chance. At least that's what I would be thinking it is. Ingrid positions over here. And Latif positions over here. He's the guy who can climb these. He's the secret guy. matter of fact so secret that everybody else does not see him this thing 
<sighs> why, why do they run down here? Holy moly! Uh, 12 enemies. I would just want to explode that. Alright, what does this do? Smoke. Uh, incoming attack against unit have minus 25% chance to hit. I think that's not a bad idea to place that. Uh, but before we're doing any of that, full cover. Because full cover is good as well. And a nice little bullseye. My sights. Maximizing the damage. So, movement to here, good. And then we do a push kick, which takes this guy completely out, and That's we're just enough. being attacked from up here, which sucks, but uh, it's one shot instead of two. All right, so what is our secret agent doing up here? Currently, we're still hidden. Good move to here, shock the guy and move over here. This is a melee attacker, so we gotta be careful. They are typically quite strong. Okay, so what else? We could blind him. Minus 50% chance to hit. Oh, we're going to save that. I think the shocking isn't too bad. Uh, unit is also slower. That's okay. So here we go. Shocked. And we're doing a bit of a running shot. There you go. We now do have a movement. Put that there, but there are two enemies, so I'm rather not going to do that. Are these four enemies? Let's go here. That's in cover, and we gotta dodge. Yep, four enemies. Damn it. Okay, we're just going to run out of here. Hey, hey, grenade! There's the evade. Okay, cool. Well, uh, guys, it has been fun, um, but I guess we're going to see all of you a little bit later because this is way too much and i am the gin so <laughs> we're not going to stay there strike kill get killer instinct that's my girl Move up. And we do a nice little dual shot. Bam, bam. Very nearly nice, little, nice little crit, by the way. Fantastic hit. Unfortunately, 
unless we're critting, well, it's not going to be a kill. So, we're hitting. That's a blind. Very good. And now we got some extra movement available. Which... I believe... For now... We're just funneling the enemy. Enemy just hit itself uh, with the explosion there, which is fine. The Jin has dual evasion, so that's fine as well. These guys are standing in the middle of explosives. Ouch. Okay, well, we'll. How do we explode that? Because that will be the money shot. This is dangerous. There are still two enemies up here, but this is too good to not do it. Running shot unfortunately is down. that up there hmm problem that I'm facing is no one can really move up there I mean, we could move up here, then explode it, because the explosion would actually harm them quite a bit. Latif could go down, which sucks, but we do have one evasion by moving up here. And... This hopefully triggers a chain reaction, yeah. There you go. A lot of knockdowns, all of them basically taken out. Which then triggers the move in and uh, hit them hard. We could uh, stay here and take out two of them with another knockdown. All right, let's go in and... Just work that out. Then up here actually but still that's one two three potential hits I think
think this here is the better position. And next turn we can we could move in. Got three ammo. Let's reload this round. Next round we will need all of the ammo. There's the evasion. And now we're stressed. Okay. Move up. This is how we say hello. Not bad. I'm fabulous. A thing or two from you. And that's why Uncle Sam pinned the medal on me back in eighteen. All right. One down. Two down. That's as much killer instinct as we're going to get. Three down. Still finishing everybody up here. The question is who is going to be the last target? Uh, we could knock these into each other. Which would be awesome. I think that's not a bad idea. Could also go to here and let Bladestorm handle the rest. Yeah. You know, that's actually not a bad idea. Pushing this guy down. There is Bladestorm for any hostile action. Um, shoot pistol push a uh, running shot is still down got AOE blind which could have uh, help but we only got one action and we got we got a move Good. Moving down here, that gives us dodge, and we're a bit out of the stress. Uh, ouch. Why are we not hitting back? Oh no, we are hitting back, but we are. it can only trigger once a turn. I see, okay. Well, that's going to be a close fight. One, two, three. Lighting them up. Bam, bam, bam. There you go. Flush them out, mark them, which is nice. And bullseye on this guy. Almost down, fantastic. There is the killer instinct we were all hoping for. Uh, we got evasion, which means his one shot cannot uh, kill us. There is the hit, and we're moving in. How many hit points does this guy have? All right, so. That should allow Bladestorm to kill him. Unless, of course, he's reloading. So no, there we go. Fantastic. <sighs> okay. I will admit this is a bit closer for comfort than I would have expected, but maybe the game plays like that. I don't know. Not bad. 
I'll take it. I don't know if that is if that is how it is supposed to the be played. Hand again. You guys let me know in the comments down below if I just sucked at that engagement or if it is normal that agents will be stressed and might be going down. Who knows? Latif takes the bandages, heals himself. Well, oh, it's not a real score until there's a scar. You must be the one Locke sent us after. I'm the Divine Knight. I'm Anna Sophia. I'm a combat medic. I've been looking for you. Anna Sophia, where is, if you're a combat medic, where's the heal? You ready? Sure is a lot of firepower around here. Why they want you dead so bad? Diane's don't like it when people fight back. Okay, well that was a great engagement. And we're home free. Now if you just come this way, we'll take you to the mysterious lock. I cannot wait to meet the last surviving lamp lighter. I'm ready to join the fight. All right, we got a lot of skill points and we are ready for the next fight. Take cover, agents in cover, 30% harder to hit, 60% harder in full cover. Okay, that's great info. Certainly not necessarily for Ingrid because she is uh, oftentimes standing in the open, but half cover and full cover seem to be very helpful. Unsteady, debuff, becomes a 25% chance to knock uh, to be knocked down at the start of their turn. What does that mean? Okay. Then the Behemoth. Um, this agent has plus 7 armor and minus 1 speed. Okay, well that's something done. that is not gotta bad for done. you. After dodging an attack, this agent becomes inspired and recovers five health. Well, that is fantastic for you. I think this here will last three more rounds. Practice makes perfect, you see? Okay, well, we got some uh, health recovery mechanic on our frontliner, which isn't bad. Locke. Got someone here who's real keen to meet you. Mr. Locke, it is an honor to speak to the last of the Lamplighters League. I am in your debt, but we've never even met. Why risk your lives for me? Because I need your help. You know the danger the Banished Court poses. You've seen it with your own eyes. But it's even worse than you may know. They've found the tower. Then, then we have lost. Then the world is doomed? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that about the end of the world? You didn't know? M Mr. Locke, are your associates not lamplighters as well? These three are not true lamplighters. They are mercenaries in my employ. Though the undrawn hand did respond to them. They are a last resort in a desperate hour. Our only chance left to keep the tower and what lies within it out of the court's hands. I'm not interested in your personal affairs. I'm just here because the money's good. But I think we deserve to know what you mean by- We do live on it, after all. Just tell them, Locke. They'll probably believe you. They did see Castro do some freaky stuff in Marseille. Here is the truth, then. Do with it what you will. I told you there's an energy source at the top of the tower. I told you the source is unstable, and the court cannot harness it without careful preparation. This source has many names. The Magdalites call it the Divine Light. The name I hear most often is the Bright Storm, or simply magic. The Undrawn Hand, Lady Nicastro, your new teammate here. They all channel the Bright Storm. But if a person stood at the top of the tower, they could control the Bright Storm. And with it, control reality itself. I see that, look, but it's true. 
And I don't know about you, but I'd rather not live in a reality tailor-made to Nicastro, Marteau, or Strums. Well, guess Mr. Locke was right, Captain. I don't believe you. I don't expect you to believe me. I expect you to believe in my money. Is that acceptable? For what you're paying, you don't have to twist my arm. Then, let us proceed to the next job. With four agents, we can move on two fronts. Three of you will run another extraction. This time, the target is someone who can help me here on the island to prepare you for missions. Ooh. While that is underway, the fourth of you will undertake a different kind of operation. You will pursue a lead on a lost artifact known as a keystone. Okay. I already regret asking, but a keystone is... A keystone is a piece left behind when the tower was uprooted from the earth. Ten thousand years ago. Uprooted? How do you uproot a tower? That is a subject of much debate. But we now know it exists in a space between space. Just beyond humanity's reach. There is only one way to enter it. Gather four keystones and form them in the shape of a door. But all that will come later. Focus on this first keystone. Now, it is time to decide who belongs on what job. All right, that is pretty much where I think we're going to cut it. I will uh, show you the new agent that we have gotten, Anna Sophia. And with her, she does have a submachine gun. She can pick a lock the doors, which is interesting. Uh, passive ability, Anna Sophia restores 50% more hit points uh, when healing a teammate with an ability or consumable. Stabilize uh, is upgrade to rekindle, which heals additional hit points on teammates in mortal danger. So she comes with a restore ability, which is her signature ability, channels her powers to completely heal all team, uh, teammates within a large radius. Oh wow, that is pretty damn good. Passive ability, 50% more healing uh, when she uses bandages and so on. That's not bad. Um, Bless as a buff ability, uh, in, uh, applies the inspired condition and removes all debuffs. That is great. And then passive ability, Anna Sophia gains 20% chance to reduce her ability cooldowns by one, which is cool. Uh, we do have plenty of extra points to spare. Anna Sophia steadfast encourages and calls teammates to gain an extra a AP. Wow. One team uh, teammate. Okay, so that's essentially shifting over actions, which is great. That's fantastic. You can already see that. But if this if motivate gets better, then this gets completely out of hand. Two uh, teammates with one AP. All right, and is there motivate three? No, but that is unbelievably strong. So I can already see that this character is going to be an absolute beast of a character. Wow. Um, Anna Sophia, 35% chance to reduce ability cooldowns. That's not bad, and Attacks gain a shred arm mobility. So uh, let me get this straight. So this is a shredding character that uh, heals and can on top of it, uh, just like in Gears Tactic, shift ability points around. Okay. Uh, that's pretty damn impressive. She herself gains one AP whenever she uses an ability or consumable to heal a teammate. <laughs> Okay, sure, sure, bro. And yeah, she seems like a strong character. Not a lot of damage, but that's not her forte to begin with. Uh, she is an excellent um, combat support. Um, yeah, but something to something to uh, do in a full playthrough i think uh, this is a great position to end the mini let's play i hope lamplighters league was of interest for you i for once enjoy the game a lot it is uh, well designed uh, the 
mechanics seem to be on point and it has an interesting plot so I would love to do a full playthrough but that requires your support and specifically a couple of comments and likes on this video to show me that you would want to see Lamplighter Sneak. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon. Bye bye!